How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a video that has been a very long time coming. I get a lot of questions from you guys asking me all about the gear that I use, my suit, my boots, my gloves, my helmet, camera and especially the mount for my camera to my helmet. So I figured there's no time like the present to get this video done. I have been procrastinating with it and putting it off because frankly I don't really know how to make it a fun and interesting video but I guess you guys are just after information so that is what I'm going to give you and I apologise if you hear any background noise my dog has decided to come and join me and decided it's time to chew on his rock hard bone so if you hear anything dog related that will be him and there's not a lot I can do about it I'm afraid so yeah we're just going to have to live with that for now but let's get started with the stuff that you see on screen which is my suit boots and gloves turns out he wants his 15 minutes of fame so everyone say hello to my dog nugget nugget say hello to all of those people there dogs why i don't know but anyway gear starting off then we are going to go with the gloves and these are just some alpine stars camo I can't remember exactly what brand they are actually. They are Tech One K Race V2 camo gloves. And the main reason I went for them, to be honest with you, is the design. They are fluorescent yellow, which you know is the colour that I race in. They are getting a bit. Look it. Shush. They are getting a bit threadbare now. I could do with some new ones sometime soon. They are a bit. Ripped and torn there from my time when I crashed that DMAX into the tile wall at 40 miles an hour. But never mind. They're doing all right. Like I say, could do with some new ones soon. But for how cheap they were, they have held up incredibly well. And also, everything that I do show you here, I will leave a link down below in the description for you to check out if you do want to pick anything up yourself. What are you doing? You're just trying to be the biggest pain possible. Is that what you're doing? Hey. Next up then, boots, and these are what I wear, OMP KS2s, again, fluorescent yellow because that's the colour that I like and the colour I want to race in, so yeah, there they are, they're not massively expensive, I think they were, I don't know, maybe 60 quid at the time of me buying them, somewhere around that, but yeah, they're holding up really well, I've had them for the same amount of time I've had the gloves, so they are poor, about two years old now, I think. But they've held up really well. They're nice and comfy. They're nice and lightweight. Nice and thin on the sole. So that you can feel that pedal and know exactly what you are doing. And I would highly recommend a pair of boots. It doesn't have to be these, but I would highly recommend them. Just to give you that extra feel on the pedal so you know what you're doing. But there you go. They are the boots that I wear. And finally, for the bits that you see is my suit, and that is another Alpine size item. It is a KMX 9 V2, fluorescent yellow, because, well, fluorescent yellow. It's got a few ventilation areas on it, up on the shoulders, base of your spine, in the armpits, to try and keep you cool while you're racing, because this is, in fact, CIK FIA certified, which means it's got some quite good fireproofing to it which means it's also quite thick and it can make you really hot especially indoors in the summer this time of year you get pretty sweaty in one of them so you do end up washing it quite often but i've had it now pretty much the same time that i've had my boots and my gloves so it's holding up really well i am in the process of sorting out a custom suit which will be coming in the near future hopefully so i'll have to show you that when it arrives but for now this is my suit and yeah again links all down below for all of the items that i am going to show you now time to show you stuff that i wear under that that you don't ever see and i am not talking about my pants and socks Right then, the hidden stuff that you don't get to see, starting with this knee protector. 
just put your leg through it on the underside of your suit strap it to the inside of your knee there it's nice and thick nice and padded because my knees rest up against the petrol tank and the tends to get a bit bruised and a bit sore so that helps to stop that and just keeps me concentrating on the game at hand which is going around that trek as fast as possible and not having to worry about all oh, my knees a bit sore so yeah again really cheap this was like five pound or ten pound for a pair off amazon again links down below but yeah 100 percent worth it you can get proper i think omp ones or something like that but they're quite expensive so these do the job just as well and then also another bit of soft padding is this which is my hand slash wrist support my palm on my right hand i tend to grip too hard and it blisters especially in these summer days so it gets a little bit sweaty in my gloves and it ends up just chafing away on the palm and blistering so this is just there to try and protect my palm that little bit because when you do get if any of you have ever had a blister on your palm while you're racing it is agony especially when it tears open inside your glove it really does distract you all i can think about is the pain in my hand i try and loosen my grip but then i end up all over the place on the track so yeah i bought this again cheap off amazon that does the job they're probably going to get gone through i'll end up going through quite a few in my time but for the pain that it saves me it is worth every penny next up my balaclava which i wear obviously under my helmet alpine stars nice and thin lightweight perfect for summer driving indoors it's perfect for all year round really to be honest because my head gets very hot anyway um but it helps just to soak up that little bit of sweat so that your helmet isn't soaking up and getting all horrible and smelly this ends up taking the brunt of it i have no idea if it offers any form of protection probably not but it's nice and comfortable nice and lightweight it does help and aid in trying to keep you that little bit cooler so yeah there is my balaclava and then finally this my back and rib protector this is an absolute godsend because as you very well know i like to have a few crashes and bumps whilst i'm out on track so this saves me no end of times it's taken an absolute beating since i had it it is rock hard here plastic and then this is padded because some seats tend to get your spine a little bit so this really again just helps to protect you keeps your mind on the task at hand and yeah you don't need to worry too much and if you like me with the team sport carts the seats are sort of a one size fits all they've got to cater for a lot of different sizes of people so i tend to flop around a little bit and this just helps to wedge me in that little bit more you literally just wear it like a i guess like a bulletproof vest type thing you do it up around there and then yeah just pull it pull it tight and then stick your suit on over the top and then that way you're protected all the way around so should you get any hits from the side or even the back it does help massively they're not cheap i'm not going to lie this was about 130 pounds i think but for me how often i cart and how often i'll get in straight it is worth again every penny so if you are getting pretty serious about your karting or you do tend to get in a few scrapes and your ribs hurt at the end of it and your back go out and get yourself ones there are cheaper versions there are more expensive versions this is just the one that i have i like it it does the job very well showing a few signs of wear but hey worth every penny and go and get yourself one moving on to my helmet then the bit that you well you never see really and that is guess what color fluorescent yellow <laughs> this is an mt helmet it's the ones that team sport use and the ones that team sport sell it is a thunder 3 fractal so it is a motorbike helmet it's not a proper motorsport helmet but for the price it's perfect it does the job for me absolutely it's got plenty of ventilation on there on the top at the back at the front underneath my mount which i will show you more of in the future it's just got a clear clear visor on it and if you really want it has a little sun visor on the inside that you can just flick up and down i never use it because i find that sits at just my eye line where i'm trying to look so yeah it never really gets used but it's there if you want it when you are outdoor karting 
again it's cheap I think I paid £130 for it in total and yeah it gets a lot of use it's very comfortable it's a nice snug fit which is exactly what you want with a helmet you do not want one that's either too small or even worse too big and it's flopping around and should you get in a bad crash could potentially even come off your head and it's got a slightly better adjustment on it it's just a little ratchet strap which is easier than sort of like trying to thread one through and then connect it up to a button you literally just push that in pull that out and away you go so yeah there you go that is my helmet and now it's time for the one i get the most questions about and that is where and how do i mount my gopro which on here i have two i have the stick on mount which is just up above my visor so if i'm in a d-max car i tend to sit a bit too low or the steering wheel is a bit too high don't get a very good angle so i move it to there for one of those carts but then when i'm at a team sport or just in a regular sody cart this is the mount that i have it is just a little chin strap again off amazon nice and cheap and you just literally clip it on to your helmet and do the little straps up i'll undo it to show you exactly what it is so yeah that just literally mounts onto the front of your helmet these reach around around the chin and then you do them up and i took the little straps up and out of the way and then your gopro just literally mounts just there so with one of these helmets it's actually perfect because if you look at the shape of that helmet just there it sort of comes out as opposed to goes down or cuts back in now a lot of the helmets the likes of bell and Rai, they will cut in which i have mounted this mount onto one of my friend's helmets that is like that and the angle is terrible all you see is the steering wheel so if you have one of those helmets i would suggest just getting yourself a stick on mount but if you've got an mt helmet or something similar where the mouth protector there slopes out away from your chin these are really good again cheap amazon about 10 pounds link will be down below i know a lot of you guys are interested in this so yeah check that one out there's multiple different ones available this is one that i've had i think i've had two they're not built amazingly they're a bit a bit flimsy a bit lightweight but this one seems to be holding up really well and yeah you just use your gopro mount on the front and away you go so there it is my kit and gear that i use i'm sorry it's taken me so long to get this done but yeah it's just trying to make it interesting and fun for you to watch which it probably hasn't come out that way but i guess i'm giving you all the information that you want all the links again down below if you enjoyed this video please give it a like drop me a comment down below and also don't forget if you're new here and you want to see some karting videos you want to see some track day car build videos some track day videos which i have my first one books and will be going on in the next few weeks so keep your eyes peeled for that video coming out and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one very soon.